Hello lovelies! After the crazy success of the Korean cucumber salad on Pinterest, I had people asking for more. So I want to share this Korean radish kimchi with you. It was so yum. In case you missed the recipe for the Korean cucumber salad, I've added the link in the description below and I've placed the link in the top in this video in the top right hand corner, so do check it out. Now we're going to begin by peeling half a kilo of Korean radish or daikon. You just want to peel off the top layer and wash it in cold water and pat it dry with some kitchen paper. This daikon is amazing, isn't it? It's straight from my garden, so it's really fresh. Once you've patted it dry, you're going to cut the daikon into three quarter of an inch to one inch cubes. We dried it so it wouldn't slide on the board when we cut it into pieces. Once you've cut it into cubes, you just want to place it all into a clean bowl. Add one tablespoon of sugar and one tablespoon of salt. You just want to mix this in really well and set it aside for 30 minutes. In this 30 minutes, usually the daikon will release a lot of juices. So we're just going to give it that time. After around 30 minutes, it will look something like this. The daikon will have released that water and we're just going to drain the juice from the daikon. Make sure you place a bowl under the strainer so that you catch that juice because we need it for later. Squeeze out any excess and shake the strainer a little bit so that any of the excess will fall into the bowl. Set it aside for a further 10 minutes and reserve the juice for later and place the daikon into a clean bowl. We're going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of minced ginger, two stalks of green onion cut into one inch pieces, one eighth of a cup of fish sauce, or if you want to make this vegetarian, then replace it with soy sauce, a quarter cup of Korean chili flakes, and a third of the reserved juice. You can add more later if you feel like it needs more. You just want to mix this in really well, making sure that all the daikon is coated in the spice mix. If you feel like this is slightly dry, then add a little more of that reserved juice. If you guys are new to the channel, then welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please take the time to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Send us a super thanks to show your support. Thank you. Place this into a jar and give it a quick shake. You can use it immediately or you can leave it on the counter for around two to three days to ferment. Small bubbles will begin to form in the liquid and that's perfect, that means it's fermenting. Once the small bubbles appear, you can pick it up and place it into the fridge and mix it well before you actually use it. Doesn't that look delicious? Thank you for watching everyone, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Much love and have a good one. Bye!